And hi, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us today. Um, we're really delighted um, to welcome you all to this webinar, which is focused on teaching through craft. So as Neil said, I'm Katrina Duffy and I'm one of the team driving a new initiative called Make Learn alongside Lucy McKechn and our partner on the project, Irene Kernan, who's the director of Craft Scotland. So this webinar is for you, teachers working in primary and secondary education with an interest in how craft and making can be incorporated across the curriculum and the benefits that it can have for learners. Um, as Francis said at the start there, we'd love to know who you are and where you're based. So please do introduce yourselves in the chat um, if you can. I know your, your cameras and microphones aren't turned on. Um, so we've had a little bit of a late start today um, and we're hopefully here until 5 p.m. or maybe just after if you have the time. And the format of today's event will be really, really simple. So we'd just like to start with an introduction to the Make Learn initiative and its pilot resources for schools. Um, and I'll, I'll then hand over to textile maker Deirdre Nelson and then over to primary school teacher Lydia Brownlee. And they will each, through their perspectives, discuss the Make Learn resources that we've produced. And we'll then end today's webinar with a focus on the specific ways in which Make Learn is looking to support teachers like yourselves in the future. And here we'd really love for you to participate, telling us what works, what doesn't work, and what you think is needed and other ways that you can be supported in the delivery of craft in your classroom. So we really hope that you will be up for that. Um, Frances, the project coordinator of Make Learn, is here in the chat space and so she'll be collecting any questions that you have as well as posting links to the relevant information um, that we have here throughout the course of the webinar. So, um, the initiative, Make Learn is a partnership between two cultural bodies, so that's MAKE, um, which is led by PANEL, and it's a manifesto for craft, advocating for craft makers across the country and their needs. And then also Craft Scotland, which is the National Development Agency for Craft, where learning and development was one of the three key strands of their programme. And so by working together, Make Learn has been designed to strengthen Scotland's craft sector through a review of craft education within primary and secondary schools. And through this work, Make Learn proposes the long-term value of teaching craft and making skills from early years through to further education and advocates for the inclusion of craft within Scotland's education curriculum. So to support this to date, um, Make Learn has delivered two connected but distinct areas of work. Uh, firstly, a research paper um, that provides us with key recommendations and next steps. And a link to the paper um, is posted in the chat if anyone would like to have a read through that later on. Um, so the paper evidences crafts well-being and emotional resilience benefits, its role in understanding culture, identity and heritage, its capacity as a driver for ethics, values and skills to advance the green economy of the future, and its power as a tool to unlock learning across the curriculum. Crucially for us as well, the report has also advocated for better resources for teaching craft in classrooms and for national strategy for material skills development in schools. Um, and it does this because the key findings from the report show that participation in craft is widespread, but it is not equal. So young adults aged 16 to 24 are the least likely to participate in craft making and those from less deprived areas are 50% more likely to have taken part in craft. Um, craft and making in schools is also not supported and is under-resourced. So 88% of the teachers we surveyed said that access to resources for materials and tools was a barrier to teaching craft in the classroom. And um, the loss of peripatetic art teachers in primary school, reduced teaching time in BGE, art and design at secondary school and computing priorities with ICT and digital technologies in the technologies curriculum have all contributed to reducing craft and making in the classroom. But drawing on the evidence from the reports, um, it's Make Learn's ambition to highlight these current gaps and to campaign to ensure that every young person is given the opportunity to learn through craft and to develop material skills. 
Yeah, so that's that's the research um, that we've been developing over the past couple of years. Um, but alongside the research paper, um, we also wanted to look at how we could practically um, support the evidence that the research paper had, had developed. So um, we um, put together a pilot project for schools working directly with craft makers. Um, so we developed three activities connected that connected craft meaningfully to other areas of the curriculum through the pilot. Firstly, developing heritage making skills through a weaving activity led by Eve Yunson of Fair Isle. Secondly, exploring issues around climate change through a plaster casting activity led by a Glasgow based jeweller called Stephanie Chong. And finally, learning about sustainability and the circular economy through a sewing and darning activity led by Glasgow based textile designer Deirdre Nelson. And for the pilot, um, resources were developed for children at BGE level and were adaptable for use in the classroom as well as at home or in other settings. Um, as well as delivering them during the school term, they do continue to be available to download from our website and we'll post links to those in the chat just now too. Um, they're also available in English, Polish and Urdu. And for the pilot, each guide came with a pack of materials and tools and accompanying film and the film introduced the maker, the skill and the wider learning context alongside providing instruction for the activity in tandem with a printed guide. And through these resources, it was our aim to provide children with an imaginative craft challenge, encourage children to explore contemporary craft processes and try out different materials. Um, to be suitable and accessible to different learning levels and to be delivered by a teacher or independently um, and we, we suggested that was over three one hour sessions and these activities were delivered um, to as a pilot to over 400 children within schools across Argyll and Butte and Glasgow City during 2021. And so we just wanted to put up a few slides um, of the responses that we had to the pilot project, um, which were overwhelmingly positive and really highlighted for us the benefits of craft and making, not only as a part of the expressive arts curriculum, but as an effective tool for unlocking other areas of the curriculum too. Um, so hopefully you can get a chance to kind of um, have a quick look at these, these um, quotes from pupils and teachers. Um, so, sorry, I'll just move back there. So that's a quick introduction to the project. Um, 